What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about a rumor that came about over the weekend, talking about Warner Bros. Discovery and, and, and their interpretation or how they feel about WB Games. This has been a thing that we've talked about, I, I think, on both channels uh, over the last while in that is there rumors of some of Warner Bros. games being sold off? There's rumors dating back years ago, okay, that things like NetherRealm and, and, and other, you know, of the studios that they have were being sold. I think the rumor was, like, NetherRealm and one other would be going to, like, Microsoft. There's been a lot, and these aren't from, like, you know, Joe Schmo on, on 4chan. I'm sure that is a person, but these are from, like, Jeff Grubb and, like, you know, higher up, you know, like, kind of trusted leakers. What it seems like, though, is that is not necessarily true, at least if you believe, I guess, this rumor. And this comes from somebody who works in the film industry and has time to Warner Bro employees, Warner Bro Discovery employees, and they had a talk about Warner Bros. games during their earnings call, and some of the things brought up about it was pretty much that they actually really like the gaming department of, of what they have. They also don't know enough about it. The, the new management doesn't know enough about games to do some sort of massive overcorrection or any correction at all. And so they're kind of like letting them go. They've heard that it's a, a growth area. They're trusting kind of who is in charge of that and who manages that. They're impressed by it. They won't implement changes while it's succeeding. And one of the biggest things that came out is actually that they believe Warner Bros. Games is overperforming. They're actually overperforming in terms of money coming in that they, uh, they expected. They also talked i think specifically about multiverses about you know how big of a success that was and the uh, opportunity to grow something like that this was also the rumor i think the same part of it where they showed the employees the last of us trailer remember the last of us trailer is rumored to the show uh is rumored to be coming out on the last of us day in september but they actually showed them a trail well again rumor has it they showed them a trailer of the uh, the show and it was insanely good people really really liked it so again this is really interesting because it goes very much against what a lot of the leakers said. Now, to be fair, when it comes to leaking in the game industry, leaking purchases, leaking sales is is honestly, I think, like another stratosphere over leaking like a, a new Tomb Raider game or leaking an Assassin's Creed game. They're very different things in that oftentimes when things have been sold, when studios have been sold, nobody really calls it. There's actually only like less than a handful of times. I think Kotaku was one of them that called or knew, I think Obsidian, Obsidian being bought by Microsoft. That was one that was actually reported ahead of time. A lot of the other ones, in fact, the majority of the other ones were not reported. Or even, you know, we've heard about Sony with Square Enix. Now, that could very well happen, but it doesn't happen kind of when people are talking about it. Remember, we heard like, oh, this is the week. This could be the week that Sony buys them. And the week came and went, and it didn't happen. So leaking these things, is I guess I'm kind of giving credit to, or I don't want to like completely bury some of these leakers, because this does go against it. Is there were rumors that like they're all for sale. Whoever wants one, just come up and you know come up and buy one from us. Um, and it doesn't seem like that's true. It's again, if you believe this, it seems like they're all staying put. And the new, which I, you know what, you could understand, right? Because it was a different atmosphere almost one, one and a half, two years ago, right? Versus now, you got new bosses. They're cleaning house mainly in like movies, television, comics. Like they're gonna, you know, they're gonna clean house. And maybe they look at games and they say, wow, you know what? Compared to the dumpster fire that is everything else Warner Bros. I'm just saying how they maybe view it. Compared to the dumpster fire that's everything else, the games actually do really well. And we actually could be doing a lot more, but we've sat on it. I think this could be, because people have written articles about this, I think the talk was also there to expand the DC portfolio. I believe that was kind of the quote, expand the DC portfolio. So hopefully... Not and I'm to me this is honestly like best case scenario. You keep them, you know, where they are. Nobody buys them. Leave them kind of. Well, it's not really independent because they're owned by Warner Bros. Discovery. But you know, you leave them as is. And not only that, but you say, you know what? Let's freaking license out the games, just like Marvel does, just like Star Wars does. Let's give studios the Superman IP. Let somebody make it that's not owned by us. Let's just do it. And and that has been taught. I mean, that was part of the same rumor. So if these are all true, this is a very good sign, especially also if you're into like console wars. Well, Sony wouldn't be, you know, buying any. Microsoft wouldn't be buying it. They'd be left alone, which in my world is actually pretty good as well. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on. And I hope to see you all on the next one.